So, kind of out of nowhere, we got a whole bunch of Spider-Man adjacent stuff, but leading the pack was the first look at Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, which if I remember correctly is the first, like, official name confirmation for what this movie was called. Mm -hmm. I thought we were just kind of going with Into the Spider-Verse 2, but no, it's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part oh, 1, what? which I thought was very interesting, and also because I'm an idiot, the first time I watched the teaser... I didn't stay till the very, very end, so it's just like, oh, Spider-Man across the universe. And then a few minutes later on social media, everyone's just like, across the universe, part one. I'm going, wait, did it say part one? Of the oh, yeah, yeah, it did. I'm just uh, impatient, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little mixed on this trailer. I think, by and large, I really, really liked it, but it was kind of weird going from when Gwen shows up and them having that fun banter to when he goes into the different universes. I get what they're going for of teasing big things, but it was kind of weird to see this almost completely done scene with Miles and Gwen to, mm, let's just call it pre-rendered stuff with yeah. Spider-Man 2099. Like, visually in the colors, and it looks fantastic, but it, it clearly wasn't done yet. But I appreciate that they're, they're dropping some hints. Uh, in weird, like, continuity nitpick, though, um... He's surprised that Gwen shows up, but in the end of Into the Spider-Verse, we see that she shows up and he's smiling and ready to go. It's it's a not the same continuity, but whatever. Um, I'm excited for this. The trailer didn't show a whole lot, but that's because this movie's like a year away, and I'm sure they still have plenty of animation to go. I, I'm very hyped for this movie. It's not the top of my list, but I love the first one so much, and I'm excited to see what they do. And also, it wasn't until like a, the second or third time I watched this trailer that I'm going, oh, yeah, he never did go to anybody else's worlds. So we get that great shot of him like super, super close up going through some of the tunnels, which is almost shot for shot when Peter B. Parker shows up of like that close up of his face. It's all mm -hmm. kind of stretched out. It's like, oh, that's a nice callback because he hasn't traveled the multiverse yet. Um Josh, what did you think of this trailer? And also, who do you hope shows up in Across the Spider-Verse? Yeah, it's so like, I guess I didn't take the backgrounds as like not rendered. I guess I took it as like a different art style for that world, which is fine, I guess. Uh, but it's odd, but cool to see Spider-Man 20, 2099 absolutely jacked out of his mind. <laughs> like, that is a big boy. And I... I think the what does he bench? Twenty ninety nine, two thousand ninety nine pounds with one arm. <laughs> He's like Spider Man twenty ninety nine's the guy that sits in the, sits in the in the gym and goes, well, yeah, well, your PR is my warm up. Like that's him all the time. Um, I like the design so far. I I agree that the the um the the continuity was a little off. I'm curious if that's not. The first yep. time that they meet in the movie, I think so too, because um, Gwen's hair is longer. Yeah, so I'm I'm wondering if they're gonna have like a little bit of a scene beforehand, maybe because it does seem like there is a pain in his eyes almost. Also, first of all, I forgot to say this: them aging up Miles is peak, very good. Like, wow, it's like okay, cool, cool, cool. I like progression. That's fun. Um, as far as like do the trailer do anything for me like like you said like it just you know the movie's still a year away and i'm okay with them not going all sony on this and, and revealing too much too early um i'm down like sure this got my this wet wetted the taste buds especially the part one had me very interesting interested like that's game changing too um who do i hope shows up <sighs> okay Spider Ham, Spider Ham, and Spider Man Noir would be fantastic. I love it, um, but I'm okay if they don't. I won't be hurt. Um, it'd be interesting if they bring in other characters that aren't necessarily Spider Man from those universes. Uh, having a legit like Frog Thor show would be hilarious, just because that's Spider -Man, Spider Ham's universe technically especially if miles is going to these universes i think that's that's a 
that opens up the possibilities a lot more. Seating uh, Peter Peter B. Parker again, I think would be, and like if we go visit him and he's like gotten his life back together and he's back with Mary Jane, you know, he's back on top of his game again, would be like just perfect. I would love that so much. I go. Um, I'm surprised you didn't say like Ben Riley Spider Man. Um, <sighs> Josh would get a little too excited about that, I think. Dude, like, a classic hoodie Scarlet Spider would be, like, oh, so good. But, like, I'm okay with them having, like, the quote-unquote, the big, like, the big um, Spider-Man. Like, like, because Miles, I would consider, like, one of the Spider-Man. And, like, so, uh, same thing with Spider-Man 2099. And Scarlet Spider as well, I think, are, like, the big ones. It'd be interesting if... I just had this thought. It, it'd be interesting if they like somehow interweaved the clone saga with multiverse, the multiverse. I don't know how you'd pull that off, but it'd be, you could, I literally just want Ben, uh, ben, <laughs> ben to show up. Like, I'm okay with that. So, but yeah, it, it, it'd be interesting nonetheless. Now, uh, I know it wouldn't make a lot of sense for this universe just because this character doesn't have a lot of connection to Miles. But in some universes, Spider-Man is Uncle Ben. It's Ben Parker's Spider-Man. So maybe Ooh. a Ben Parker Spider-Man or better yet, tailor it to Miles. And in one universe, Uncle Aaron is Spider-Man and Miles Ooh. was the Prowler. Ooh, say less, my dude. I'm down. Okay, okay. I almost said uh, Drake Bell's Spider-Man showing up, but uh, that's not going to well, I mean, it's voice acting. He can do it from home. Um, isn't he going to jail? Jail? No, he's under house arrest. I thought. Um, okay. <laughs> here's Ooh. here's my. There's absolutely no chance of this happening. Harebrained idea. What if this is Spider-Man Across the Universe Part One, and the first movie of Tom Holland's trilogy is Across the Universe Part Two? interesting actually yeah but then you i don't know how you make that work that transition from animate animated to live action that'd be interesting so have it because i don't know who you'd have play miles yeah shameek moore is a little too old to be a live action just, miles just just just, just a little. well i mean he isn't is he in college in this one or is he because he says dorm room, but I know he goes to, like, a special school where they have dorm rooms, so I don't know if... Yeah, I thought he went to, like, a private high school or something like that. Yeah, so I, I don't know if they have, like, dorm rooms there or, if, or he's in college. He does age up, so it's definitely been uh, some time. Okay, he's 26, so he's actually uh, Tom Holland's age, more or less. That could uh, totally work. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. That's a, that is something to throw out in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> into the multiverse. <laughs> oh man! So I, I'm done. Like I'm a big fan of the first one, so I'm I'm down for whatever this movie throws at us.